Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about SharePoint Online versus OneDrive. The objective of this video is to help you to choose the right digital storage solution within Microsoft 365 for your needs. So a quick overview, SharePoint Online and OneDrive comparison. SharePoint Online and OneDrive are two different Microsoft applications that serve very different purposes. In this presentation, I'm going to show you and compare the features of both applications and identify the best scenario for each application. When to use application, so after comparing the features of SharePoint Online and OneDrive, we will explore the best scenarios for each application. This will help you determine which application to use for your specific projects and tasks. At the end, we're gonna summarize the key points. So comparison of features, SharePoint Online. So SharePoint is a web-based collaboration platform that allows teams to share and manage content, knowledge, and applications. It offers features such as team sites, document management, workflow automation, and business intelligence. Now, I like to think of SharePoint Online almost in two different ways. One is the kind of documents element of it. Now, if you think about SharePoint as being kind of your intranet as a place that all employees can go to get the latest information on things like company benefits, um, culture, news, updates, announcements, useful links, some expense requests, all these different things that quite often are commonplace um, when we're using SharePoint. Think of SharePoint as almost like your single source of truth. So you can get the latest information of documents, policies, procedures, things like that. But also it's a platform where you're sharing information and making it easy for people to find links to things that they need as part of their day-to-day -day work life. So SharePoint is like a collaborational area. Now, if you think of it just in the terms of documents, think of SharePoint as almost like the kind of, well, historically, if, you, if you've been working um, with the sort of documents for a long time, you might remember things like um, people referring to, oh, the Z drive or the X drive or the Y drive. And these are things where they used to be kind of Mac drives, essentially, that you would have a shared folder somewhere that you would have all of the kind of company documents and things that people are working on, on a day-to-day -day basis are stored in that shared area. Whereas OneDrive is much more your personal document storage space. And when we're using that kind of scenario, OneDrive is the equivalent of like the My Documents or My Pictures or things like that kind of area. So it's things that only you are working on. OneDrive is a cloud-based file hosting service that allows users to store, share, and access files from anywhere. It offers features such as a file syncing, version control, and access control management. So it actually offers pretty much all the same kind of functionality from a document perspective that SharePoint Online offers. However, OneDrive is for your own personal use. So if we take a little look at the comparison of, say, a SharePoint set of documents compared to a OneDrive, you can kind of see they, they will look very similar. So let's start off with SharePoint. So this is just a typical document library that we have inside of SharePoint. And you can see these are all the different documents we've got stored in here. We've got files, we've got folders. We can even have subfolders within folders and we can use this navigation bar across the top to help us navigate backwards and forwards between those folders. We can store Word documents, PowerPoint, Excel, typical kind of Microsoft documents, but you can also store other types of files in there as well, even images and hyperlinks. Um, the, the navigation bar um, or, or the or control bar across the top allows us to create brand new files, folders really easily, and we can upload files uh, and folders as well. And we can even drag and drop from File Explorer documents into here to upload them. Um, and this is what it looks like in OneDrive. So this is a OneDrive folder. It's my test folder. It's got some test files in here. And essentially, it's very much a similar kind of um, look and feel in terms of um, the, the folders and the files uh, living within here. We can add new. So the add new button looks slightly different. It's up at the top up here in a kind of blue color. But it's the same kind of functionality. We can um, add new um, folders, documents, and we can upload. But it's actually all done from this add new button rather than having a new button and an upload button like we see in SharePoint. We've got this share button up here. So if I was to select on a file, uh, it goes into a little bit more detail. We can choose to open the file either in the browser or in uh, the, the native app, but that's exactly the same. If I just switch back into SharePoint, you can see here I can choose to open in browser or open in app. It's exactly the same. 
Um, we've also got the share option here. So this allows us to share the file. Again, we've got that same option inside of SharePoint. So they're exactly the same here. And a lot of them in terms of copying link, delete, um, download, moving, they're all the same kind of functionality. So it's very much the same functionality inside of OneDrive as it's SharePoint. When it comes to creating documents, deleting documents, sharing documents, moving them around. It's all the same kind of functionality that we, we tend to see. So I wouldn't get too worried about exactly that it's a different experience. The only real difference in that experience is this add new button that we have inside of OneDrive. So at a glance comparison, SharePoint Online and OneDrive differ in their features in the sense that we have that new button across the top. Um, Whereas actually in SharePoint, we've got a new and an upload button. But other than that, they're very similar from a document management point of view. SharePoint Online offers more features for enterprise level collaboration, such as team sites, workflow automation and business intelligence. So in terms of the actual collaborational elements of it, think of SharePoint as the place that you're going to use for collaboration. So the team sites is where teams, departments, projects will work together in, in a centralized location. Whereas OneDrive, think of it as more as your own personal storage space. Um, and we do advocate that people do get the most out of OneDrive because everybody gets up to a terabyte of storage space per OneDrive. So if you've got a company, say of 100 people, that's potentially 100 terabytes of OneDrive storage space that you've got there that for people to, to use. Whereas in comparison, because SharePoint storage is based on the amount of users you have, you probably only have about one to two terabytes of storage space if you've got 100 employees. Um, and that's for every single SharePoint site, not just one SharePoint site, it's for all the SharePoint sites put together. And finally, OneDrive is more focused on individual file storage and sharing with features such as file syncing and version control. So again, OneDrive, it's for personal kind of use um, and think of it as kind of documents that only maybe you are working on. And if you do need to collaborate with people, say you you start off with a draft in OneDrive, you can always move those documents or copy them into SharePoint at a later date. I just wanted to pause to ask a quick favor. If you're enjoying this video, then please do like and subscribe to my channel for more SharePoint content. If you are looking for professional services or support with a SharePoint project, there's a link in my bio to take you to a contact form. You can submit there and you can get in contact with me to discuss your project. Also, if you're looking for more SharePoint training videos, then why not check out my membership, which is only 99 pence per month. This will get you exclusive access to a six part SharePoint training fundamentals course, as well as a course which teaches you how to build a SharePoint internet from scratch. As well as that, you'll get priority access to a Q&A section, which you'll get priority responses from myself with any questions that you might have related to SharePoint. So let's talk a bit about security, because a lot of people get confused about how secure these different platforms are. Um, now, it's industry standard security features that are built into both platforms. So both applications provide industry standard security features such as access controls, sharing permissions and encryption to protect user data from unauthorized access and misuse. So by default, your OneDrive will be just locked down to yourself and SharePoint sites can be opened up um, to team members, to departments, to business units. You can open them up to much wider um, sets of users. Um, you can choose to enable external sharing both in OneDrive and in SharePoint. So you can choose um, to specifically open up in different areas. Now, some companies choose to open up in OneDrive first because sometimes that can be uh, a way of kind of mitigating the risk of data falling into the wrong hands, or you can create what they call an extranet, which is a specific SharePoint site, and only that SharePoint site has access to share externally. So all of these revolving on advanced security features. Um, so in SharePoint Online, SharePoint Online provides more advanced security features, such as data loss prevention and information rights management to provide additional protection and control over sensitive data. So you can provide more kind of wraparound in SharePoint um, that goes a little bit further than that. You can also apply what we call sensitivity labels to the documents in both of these areas, which basically means in reality, the security is only secure when the documents reside in OneDrive or in SharePoint. 
there's nothing to stop people from downloading those documents like there is nothing to stop them currently say if you've got a file server a file uh, share uh, there's nothing to stop people from downloading those documents to their local computer putting them on a pen drive and taking them home Whereas with sensitivity labels, you can apply them to those documents. And even if someone was to put them on a pen drive, take them home, let's say, for example, if they were leaving the business on the Friday and they downloaded a spreadsheet of all your customer data uh, and contact information, and then on the Monday they plan to use it in their new job, if it was wrapped around with sensitivity labels, on Monday they would log in and would say, sorry, you don't work here anymore, your account's blocked. And you can even go as far as deleting all the files um, that they previously had access to as well. So when to use SharePoint Online and when to use OneDrive. So when it's SharePoint Online, SharePoint Online is ideal for team collaboration, especially when I work on large projects that require multiple people to work on the same document. It is also great for creating company-wide intranets and can be used to store sensitive information and manage permissions, controlling who has access to see different sets of documents. Now, I like to think of SharePoint as like a single source of truth. That's where you put your policies, your procedures, your forms, um, all the things that people need to readily get access to. You can also have news and events, announcements, and all the latest updates and goings on around your organization can be published to that intranet platform. Um, so that's when you would want to use SharePoint. OneDrive, um, Essentially, OneDrive is best for individual file storage and sharing. It is ideal for personal files and documents and can be used as a backup for important files. It is also great for sharing documents with people outside of your organization. As I say, quite often OneDrive is the first thing that gets opened up for external use um, to mitigate external parties from getting access to everything. You just give them access to sort of OneDrive um, areas or individual files that get shared out from OneDrive. So if you're thinking, where do my documents best live? Let's take the scenario of like a policy document. Sometimes policies start off as drafts and it might be that you're working on a policy document and it starts its life off in OneDrive and you're working on it as a draft, you're editing it. And then when it's ready for everyone else to, to view and consume that document, you can then move it over into SharePoint Online, which is a single source of truth intranet platform where everyone can get access to that document. Um, so in conclusion, the feature comparisons, we compare the features of SharePoint Online and OneDrive to help you make informed decisions about which tool to use. Each application has its own set of strengths that can benefit your business. Choosing the right tool, the choice between SharePoint Online and OneDrive depends on your business needs. Consider factors like collaboration, document storage and security to determine which tool is best for you. So hopefully that clears up where your document should live. And of course, if you need any help with SharePoint, feel free to contact us. Um, we offer professional services to help you with your any SharePoint project that you're working on. There's a link in the description below, which will take you to a contact form. Fill that out and get in touch and you can speak to me today about your project. Again, please like and subscribe to uh, this video. And if you have any questions at all, you can use the comments feed below um, and keep your eyes peeled for the next SharePoint video. Thank you.